everybody, and welcome to Sentinel Spotlight. We're on the scene here at the first annual Sir Thomas Springfest Northgate Shopping Center. We've got this great music playing in the background. My dance partner here is Annalise Sager, and we're going to have a little fun here. So sit back, relax, and enjoy yourselves as we enjoy ourselves. Are you ready, Annalise? Oh, well, let's take off, darling. talking with Annalise Sager, and what is your function here at the Spring Fest, Annalise? We are a little bit entertaining, but our most function is to distribute drinks. And what drinks do you offer here? We offer coarse beer, Coca-Cola, coffee. That's a very colorful outfit, Annalise. Where did you get that? This is an original Dianlo from Austria. That's where I'm from. Well, it's very pretty, and so are you. And now let me talk to your husband, Ted Sager, here. What do you do here at Springfest? Well, I jump in. I'm uh, MC assistant. The real MC, unfortunately, is in heaven. He passed away. And I try to do my best. I wish I would be a good yodeler, but uh, we have a lot of fun anyhow. Were you here the first two days of the Spring Fest? Yes, sir. Have you had a big crowd? We were very pleased. We should have more parking space. We be short in parking. Give me a little idea of the actual entertainment being seen here today. All right. Right now it's Barney Bonhart from Tampa playing. In about an hour we will have Hans Frischknecht from the Matterhorn in Tampa. And then later on this afternoon, Frank Jankovic will be back here. And I understand Frank is quite a favorite with some of the people that are coming here today. Tell me a little bit about his background if you will. I don't know very much. He's from Ohio, but he's also from Milwaukee. Wherever you talk to people, that's where he's from. <laughs> and what does he do to entertain Polish, here? Polish polka player. Uh, do you poke? No. Oh. oh, well, a little discrepancy here. Annalise says yes. I take it you poke? Oh, yes, definitely. Okay. Yes. And uh, the two of you have been seen on some dance floors, have you? Oh, yes, we do. <laughs> on the inside of the tent, the band was playing and the crowd was really enjoying themselves. It takes a lot of food to feed a crowd of this size, so we decided to talk to Frank Savoy about this since he's food chairman of the event. We're moving quite a bit of food today. It started off right at 12 o'clock. And what are you offering in the way of food? We have knockwurst, bratwurst, uh, cheddarwurst, hot dogs, corn on the cob, uh, kosher dill pickles, uh, German potato salad, and sauerkraut. Is there one favorite amongst all of those? The cheddarwurst and the bratwurst seems to be the fastest moving ones, yeah. Give me some idea of the price range you have offered here today. Starting with a dollar on the hot dogs, uh, up to a dollar fifty on the other sandwiches. And then we have the complete dinners for two fifty. Now we're in the third day of the Spring Fest. Can you give me some idea of what's happened Thursday and Friday evening here? Thursday was a pretty good evening. It kind of tapered off early, but uh, last night was real good and kept right on going until about 11.30. Today's starting off real good. One of the bands performing at Spring Fest was from the Matterhorn Hofbra House in Tampa. Their band is a family affair, their costumes are colorful, and their music just makes the crowd want to get up and dance. going on, I thought it appropriate if I could find somebody in the Sertoma Club that was German. 
We're speaking with Brad Bartell, and I understand you are German, right? That's true. And I think it's very apropos that I'm talking with you here at the German Spring Fest here, sponsored by the Sertoma Club. And you are president of which Sertoma Club? The Winter Haven Sertoma Club. And I understand that is the grandfather of them all, is that correct? Yeah, we were the first here in town, that's right. Give me some idea of the young people involved in the Sertoma Club today and what the names of those subsidiary groups are, if you will. Okay, we have a recently formed group here in Winter Haven called the Young American Sertoma Club, which is for the ages of 19 to 29. And they're basically working in the areas of crime prevention, drug problems, that type of thing, here in town with the younger people. And what are they going to do here today at the Spring Fest? Well, they're generally helping us out. They're selling some popcorn, just trying to raise a few dollars, putting in man hours for their club. And give me a little bit of background about the Sertine Club, if you will. Yeah, the Sertine Club is a club at Winter Haven High School. Uh, and they are doing a number of projects here today, notably serving soft drinks and pretzels. Can you give me some idea of who put this whole thing together? Well, it was kind of an idea that came about last fall. We've uh, followed the West Pasco Sertoma Club, and uh, it's been a very, very successful event for them. And so we were just investigating this, and it seemed like a very good idea, so we gave it a first shot. How many people can this tent house? Any idea on that? We'd like to find out. <laughs> Throughout Springfest, hourly drawings were held whereby participants could win cash by donating dollars to Sir Toma in exchange for what hopefully would be lucky tickets. All right, get your tickets. The number is two, seven, six, five, four, two. Last three numbers, five, four, two. Well, as you can see, a lot of people were working hard to put on this event, and we spoke with Bill Romain president of the Lake Wales Sertoma Club to see what they did to get ready for Spring Fest. Our club uh, did the electrical work here. We've got several electricians in our club. We were here uh, Wednesday morning at 8 o'clock and left after 8 Wednesday night. And we got it all up and every time they have a problem, we got the people right here to handle it. Next, we spoke with Skip Radline, president of the Chain of Lakes Sertoma Club, and asked Skip if he had a particular job at this year's Spring Fest. Yes, I'm uh, one, of, one of the general committee chairmen, and I'm a committee chairman of uh, the drawing. Uh, that was kind of a last-minute addition, and uh, I got roped into that by Mr. Rogers, who is the board of directors of our club. And uh, Ray's a hard worker, and we're doing a real good job. We're having a lot of fun, and the money's going to be mainly for our club purposes going for Camp Endeavor. Send speech and hearing defective children to Camp Endeavor. I loved what you said about Mr. Rogers roping you into this event. With a last name like Rogers, I would think he would probably rope a lot of people into this everybody. event. He roped everybody into this event. <laughs> Outside the big tent were several displays and booths, and some other area clubs were helping raise funds for various good causes by offering passers-by an opportunity to try their skill at certain games and if they were lucky, to win prizes as well. We're at the Kiwanis Club of Winter Haven Horseshoe Booth, and we have just corralled two people here, Ron Merle and Barry Porter, and let's see what they have to say. Whose idea was it, Ron, to put up this booth here? I don't know, I guess Sir Thomas said, come on and help us, fellas. So we showed up and did it. And you're the president of the Kiwanis Club of Winter Haven? Right, right. Where does your club meet? At the uh, Chain of Lakes Convention Center. How about that? We were just talking about that moments ago, weren't we? Give me some idea of the functions that the Kiwanis Club of Winter Haven are involved in. Well, we've got uh, a number of different committees that support different charities here in the, in the town in Polk County. In fact, is today, we've got around 20 men over at the Special Olympics in Lakeland helping to conduct the games for the uh, handicapped and crippled kids over there. I see a gentleman is about to participate in the horseshoe event. Wait a minute. All right, here we go. Let's see what's going to happen here. How many horseshoes does he get for a buck? He's going to get five for a dollar. All and right. We our own rules as we go along. Okay, fair enough. Well, my 
My game is not horseshoes, but walking down this mini midway, I came upon the Havenettes balloon dart game, and remembering my good luck at the Citrus Festival, I decided to take a chance. Step right up, sir. Help the crippled children. Five for a dollar, quarter apiece. Every prize, every balloon's a prize. Be a winner. <laughs> Thank you. Here he goes. Let's watch and see if he gets one of our nice big stuffed animals. Let's, let's see what this gentleman wants. What do I get? <laughs> Number nine, one of the six. We're just going to bring, bring this man out of pride. What is that? Oh, my God. Thank you, sir. You want to try again? Try it again. I don't think I can win anything bigger than this. Well, thank you for supporting us. On the inside of the tent, the crowd continued to enjoy the great music being offered. And we took this opportunity to corral another fine Sertoma official. This is Tom Clark, and you are president of which Sertoma Club? The Sertoma Athletic Club here in Winterhaven. And your function with the Springfest event is specifically what? It specifically is publicity and promotion of the event, and we certainly appreciate the opportunity that Centel has given us to, uh, to give us that kind of publicity and promotion. Uh, We've been uh, been pretty successful in drawing some people out here. We've had uh, upwards of 850 to 1,000 people for the last few days. So we've been been pleased with our results today. Part of this year's entertainment was Fritz. He appeared on his unicycle and did something called the chicken dance, and the crowd just loved it. the tent.
right now we're not talking with Roy Rogers, we're talking with Ray Rogers, and I understand you're chairman of this whole shebang, is that right? Yes, that's correct. How much man work goes into getting organized for something like this, and how many hours are involved, Ray? Well, we quit counting the hours about six months ago. <laughs> So it takes a lot of work. We've been working on this for about a year to do this. Uh, we got the idea from West Pasco, uh, the Sertoma Club over at Newport Ritchie, and they have been just fantastic on helping us put this together. Couldn't have done it without them. How long has it been going on over in that area of Florida? They've had it for about four years over there. And you're going to have it as an annual event, I trust? We're sure going to try it. <laughs> we will. It's here to stay. Well, that's our show for this evening. We certainly hope you enjoyed our visit here to the first annual Spring Fest, sponsored by the Sertoma Club. My name is Dan Hogan. I'm your host for Centel Spotlight.